In this video, we're going to discuss using meters to uh, test um, systems out to troubleshoot. So in this case, we're going to use two type of meters. One is a multi uh, meter, which is a volt ohm meter. That you could check amps still, but also we can use a clamp on amp meter, which is a safer way to check amperage because you don't, do not have to disconnect any wiring to, uh, to check the current flow through a load. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to turn the power on and the blower is going to turn on. It might be kind of noisy, but uh, it should be fine. First, we're going to check voltage. We're going to turn the power on and we're going to uh, look at a couple things. Across the top, we see in this section here is the um, section dealing with the control voltage, the wiring coming from the thermostat. So we're going to uh, bring that in so you'll be able to see the wires and it's color coded. If you notice, um, this wire is red for going to terminal R, terminal G is green, terminal W is white, and terminal Y is yellow. And we use another color for common, uh, which is, of course, in this way we're using white. But we want to start it up and to, to show you a couple of things. We also have a couple other components. We're looking at the circuit board, which is this green board here, and then we have a transformer which is located there that is sending power to all the control voltage circuits including the uh, thermostat and the uh, circuit board what we see first we're going to do we're going to turn power on and we're going to use our voltmeter to check to see if we have 24 volts to check 24 volts we will go to terminal R and terminal C those two terminals will be able to give us the uh, voltage reading so we're going to pull up a voltmeter and we're going to turn the power on and we're going to see if we have 24 volts. We're going to turn it on and I'm going to go to terminal C, terminal R. And we're going to set the, the meter to AC voltage. Terminal C, Terminal R, the meter is calibrating itself. And we're reading 27.9. It's slightly high but there's very little load on the system that's why it's reading more than 24 volts so we are good right now we do have control voltage and it's in range the next thing we're going to do is check the amperage of the blower motor in this case we will use a clamp on amp meter I'm going to uh, zoom out some so you can see what this meter looks like it has jaws that will open up and we'll be able to clip it onto a uh, wire to see what type of voltage we have. The amperage, we're going to turn it on. We're going to zoom in somewhat to be able to see the numbers. We're going to clip it on. And we are reading 2.35 amps of current. Now we can see the blower motor is in range was designed to operate at. Uh, 2.9 and it's fluctuating somewhat which is normal also but this is a clamp on amp meter if you notice it's just going around one wire and that's what it's designed to do to go around the wire to be able to uh, read the current through the wire it uses the induction or magnetic field of the current flow through it to uh, to be able to get a reading now you only can do one wire at a time if I go around a common or neutral, it will cancel each other out and it will read an amp reading of zero, even though there's current going through it. So you always have to do only one wire. And there you go. The amperage went up slightly, 3.02, so it went up slightly higher. 
but this is a basic uh, way to use meters to diagnose systems to uh, understand how current is flowing. And going back again, this is the clamp on amp meter, and I went around a wire. And for the volt ohm meter, I actually use this type of meter, which have leads on it, and these leads will go to the terminals to read voltage. Another way we can do this, um, use this ohm meter to read resistance. And it does resistance very well by turning it to ohms, disconnecting all the power, disconnecting the leads to it, and be able to read the resistance of the loads in the system, or reading continuity of switches or wires to make sure that there's no defects with the switch or wire. So this is a basic type of uh, controls we use for diagnosing systems.